Hi one, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we all know what we have gone through in the year 2023 in the hands of William Samway Ruto. It is all about suffering, problem, hunger, loss of job, lack of confidence in government, false promises. You know, we have been betrayed as Kenyans. And with all this, people have been giving their views. So we are here, 2024. And uh, there is a Bomet resident, an elderly man, who was giving his view. That is now, we are talking about, remember, someone from Rift Valley, a Kalenjin. He's giving his view in comparison between William Ruto's government, Uhuru Kenyatta's government, and Raila Odinga's leadership. <laughs> According to him, which is true, Serikali ya William Ruto ni akupiga kelele. Noisy. Nothing else but making noise. Loud noise. Empty noise. That is Serikali ya William Samway Ruto. And uh, in comparison to Uhuru Kenyatta, that means that Uhuru Kenyatta's government, at least it was working. If this one is noisy, then the other one was working. But again, he goes further to say that if Raila Odinga was president today, Kenyans will be living in peace and they will have economic freedom. Remember, we are opening schools and we know what is ahead of us. Kibaki started subsidized education, eh? Eh? subsidized free education. Uhuru came, he continued, and he even brought in Edu Afia. Edu Afia is coming to an end under the leadership of William Ruto. This year, your child, as a pupil or a student, they will no longer acquire free medical treatment in any hospital. Hayo Mambo, Yameisha. He has a message for the Kalenjin. When you are voting, remove the word tribalism in your mind focus on the leadership who can work for you this pain has felt across the country everyone has been touched mkalenjini hajaachwa mkikuyu hajaachwa muluya mukamba kila mtu ameguzwa katika haya maisha majina ni ronald kimwedichngen mimi ni mkaaji wa bomet county sehemu za konoin puto location Ukilinganisha serikali ya Uru Kenyatta na serikali ya Ruto. Serikali ya Ruto ni kupiga mdomo tu, kupiga mdomo tu, kupiga mdomo tu. Ni kama mtu ambaye anakamua ngombe, alafu naweka kichungi ngombe masiwa ile imetobolewa chini. Sasa hiyo masiwa haichai. Kwa hivyo ningependa niambie ya kwamba Raila angekuwa president wa Kenya, wa Kenya wangekaa vizuri na wananchi wenyewe. Sasa hasa watu wangu wa Kalenjin ninawahimiza kabisa waaje maneno ya ukabila na wachunge Kenya sasa kufunguliwa kwa shule sasa Kenya sasa wananchi wa Kenya watakuwa na tabu kubwa sana hasa mashule hizi sa, 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 sa watu ambao wana, watoto wanaenda shule na kurudi uhuru alikuwa ameweka eh, elimu iwe 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 free sasa Ruto alisema elimu itakuwa free sasa shule ikifunguliwa ile kitu ninawajua wananchi wa Kenya saa hii wanalia kidete hasa wale walikuwa naunga mkono Kenya kwanza ole wao mimi mwenyewe ni kukaya kwamba sisi kama wananchi wa Bomet vile rais aliongea jana aliongea kwa njaa ile mimi nilistuka sana kwa wakati alipokuwa kitaja watu wa mama mboga watu wa boda boda na watu wengine mimi ninavyojua ni kwamba serikali iliyoko sasa ya Kenya Kwanza ni kitu cha majabu. Kitu kile niliona sana ni wakati yeye alikuwa akiongea katika ikulu ya rais. Wale wote walikuwa wakipiga makofi ni wale ma ministers. Ya mwisho, mimi kama kiongozi katika area hii, wananchi wengi hawakwenda Christmas kwa sababu hawana pesa. Kile kitu ambacho ni now we are continuing this panel discussion but just a quick request. 
for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers and master thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion now that is a challenge in confessing that tuko na serikali ya majab he is surprised ameshikwa na butwa they never anticipated that this is how Ruto was going to you know to govern though from his speech you can understand this is a man who did not vote for Ruto i think this is one of the people in one of the kalenjins who had faith in leadership of Raila Odinga but above all despite the fact he did not vote for Ruto he did not thought that Ruto will be this kind of the worst president ever who came out with policies that are so dangerous to our economy and to Kenyans hakuwa itarajia ya kwamba Ruto atakuwa president wa aina hii kando na kwamba hakumpigia kura you know i think ingekuwa ni mluya anasema hivyo ama mkale njin sorry ama mjaluo ama mkamba or what wa cost Someone would say ah uh, ni politics and uh, you know people are defending their side but remember this one is a challenge from Bomet they speak same language Naruto wako na mother tongue same so their dialect ni lugha moja he's here telling us what exactly he is pissed off in this Kenya Kwanza administration so it is clear that there is nothing like people these people are not going to change kelele itaendelea kupigwa no indication or sign that these people can at least for one time sit down and work for kenya they will continue to make noise we have heard him he was in final somewhere kule nyandarwa he's now threatening even the judiciary he's still making noise he's promising road and many other things but again is crying as if he's not collecting taxes the noise is going to continue so that moment man is clear that uhuru worked for the people and indeed we had no problem with the education mambo ya kulipa school fees it was affordable right now teachers are preparing to increase school fees and the government will not take care of that it is the parents who are going to take that burden kama wataongeza 1500 kwa zile mmekuwa mkilipa jipange kulipa 1500 serikali haitalipa kuongeza kwa zile mmekuwa kilipa kama wataongeza 1000 kwa zile mmekuwa kilipa jipange kulipa hiyo mzigo wote serikali ya mheshimiwa ruto haitahusika popote kusaidia kulipa ule mzigo so schools are opening but we know the school fees is going to be increased Machogu is making noise he's giving threats but we know they are aware of what is happening they are only playing politics bei ya sukari kilo moja ile imekuwa ikiuzwa wakati wa uhuru kenyata haiuzwi kwa bei hiyo unataka mwalimu mkuu atoe wapi pesa ya kununua hiyo sukari sasa na unamwambia siongeze school fees na wanafunzi wanahitaji kunywa chai shuleni hiyo ni kinaya ni porojo ni uongo ukora wanadanganya wazazi just giving empty threats but not solving out the problem the truth is that they made everything expensive and therefore teachers have no option but to make sure that they are giving a budget that is realistic that can be realized alafu naambia walimu msiongeze pesa yoyote bei ya mahindi wamekuwa kinua ile wakati wa uhuru kenyata sio same price they will buy today it has changed so it is true this is a government of noise he is indicating that people suffered they had no any celebration nothing like christmas we shared so many videos to confirm this so what i can conclude in this video the kalenjin man is asking for Raila Odinga presidency they are yearning for a Raila leadership when he sees Ruto and he sees Raila Odinga he see a leader in Raila Odinga but an oppressor in William Ruto 
He sees a dictator in Rudolf's leadership, but he sees true servant leadership in Raila Odinga. That's why he's saying Raila angekuwa president mambo yengine hatungeyaona. Zile shida tunaziona saa hizi kama Raila angekuwa president hatungekuwa tunaziona. <laughs> you know, one time God was telling Moses to tell the Israelites when they were crossing to wakitoka Egypt that the Egyptians you are seeing today you will never see them again so we tell people that ile shida tumekuwa tukiona the suffering we have been seeing under the leadership of William Ruto we would not have been seeing it if Raila was the president hatungekuwa tunapitia haya mambo yote So there is a running call from the Kalenji nation for Raila Odinga presidency because they have tested their own and they have discovered that tribalism cannot help. Tribal politics is poisonous. We need to elect leaders because of their qualification and trust but not tribe. 